right guys, welcome back to the sawmill. It looks like a nice day. Check out the sky right there, but a little bit chilly here. It's about 38 degrees, but I'll take it any day over the summer humidity here in Tennessee. This is my time of year right here. Looks like we've got cabbage up here today. What are you doing there, buddy? Say hello to your fans. He could care less. The first thing I'm gonna do here today, guys, is go jump in the tractor and grab some logs. Hang in there with me, it's gonna be a good day. tell you what now friends that pine right there was heavy that's a nine footer and I had a little bit of a traffic jam right there I forgot about this cedar on here me and dad were sawing cedar yesterday that's a really nice cedar right there and I forgot I left it over here so I had to take that pine and kind of drop it off the top right there and let it roll I don't like doing that but I didn't plan ahead right there I forgot about the cedar but this is what's going on in the mill today, guys. A really nice white pine. That is a good one right there. Right, guys this right here is something I don't think I've sawed on the 70 since we've had it be honest with you I can't remember maybe we have I can't remember maybe you guys will remember better than I can this is white pine it's a nine footer and it's a good one guys 31 inches on the diameter 31 inches I didn't know it was that wide now the mat's cut that you can take on an LT70 Super Widehead is 34 inches. And I think since I have the high performance blade guides, it probably reduces that to about 33, but I'm not exactly sure about that. And that's actually the uh, same width that the LT40 would cut. So both of these sawmills, the 40 and the 70, cut the same mat's width of 34 inches. I think 33 with the uh, blade guides. This pine, guys, is for real. I tell you, this is a good sized pine. So down here on the far end, and I'm hoping I got the uh, small end down here. I hope it's not bigger down here than it is on the other side. 20, no, 30 inches. 30 inches down here. We're gonna turn this into one by eights and make it into board and batten siding for the timber frame. So I've been using poplar for siding up until now, but guess what guys? I am completely out of poplar logs. The price for poplar in Northeast Tennessee has went through the roof in the past few months. And I cannot justify going out and buying some poplar just for siding on the side of a wood shop when I got 5,000 feet of white pine down there. So what we're gonna do is just mill up a bunch of one by eights that are one by three and a half batten strips and finish out that timber frame with pine board and batten siding 
And then here in a few months after it air dries on the side of the building, we're gonna paint it anyway, so nobody's gonna know. So if y'all don't tell nobody, I won't. All right, guys, real quick, two more things here and we'll get started. Number one, we're using a silver tip Turbo 7 on the sawmill today. I get those from Joe Main down in Georgia. If you're interested in those blades, his phone number's in the video description. The second thing is, I wanna thank everybody who recently joined Patreon and helped support us here in the channel. There's a link down below, you can go check that out. Some perks to Patreon, you get to see the videos before they go to YouTube without any ads. You kinda know what's going on behind the scenes, such as a big announcement I made yesterday about some new equipment we're getting here at the sawmill. You also get to know how much these logs cost, and you'll be surprised how much I paid for this pine. And there's a lot of other perks besides that. So go check it out if you're interested and I really appreciate you guys supporting us here. I got the spray paint out to make two marks on there so you know what I'm talking about. We got two cuts made so far and I need to break this down to make it easier to handle. So I'm gonna come down from the top to right there where that spray paint is and make an eight inch cut. This will make a good block right here for a one by eights. Then I will come up from the bottom and do the same thing eight inches and we'll get siding boards out of that. Then we'll have this middle piece left right there and it does have the pith in it and it should be about four inches. We'll nibble that down to three and a half and get our batten strips out of the middle. All right, guys, a real quick correction right there. Eight inch can't, not a block. I don't know what I was thinking right there, guys. Look over me.
right guys sorry about the quality of this last little clip right here but i've had two cameras fail tonight oh if it's the cold weather or what's going on but i'm filming this on my phone and it's about seven o'clock i'm out here drinking coffee and i'm probably gonna saw a little bit more but it looks like the video's over sorry about that i can't control these cameras i need to either upgrade them or maybe buy new batteries i'm not sure so uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully tonight I'll get in the house and figure out what's going on with these cameras. And tomorrow we'll finish up this pine and put some more siding on the timber frame. Thanks for watching. Mm. Hot coffee on a chilly November day. It's hard to beat. I'm doing coffee commercials now. Good. I'm going to paint that barn anyways a little bit later on, so we're... Walt Wah. Sound like the Charlie Brown teacher. Walt Wah. Goodness. It's the same cut width that was on the 40, actually. Who is that back there making all that noise? Here I am running the sawmill and I'm complaining about people making noise. Huh. Been putting up poplar, but I'm totally out of poplar logs and I have ton of pine. Ton of pine. I have ton of pine. Ton of pine, that's a new style tree right there. Get me a ton of pine on the mill today. Oh, ton of pine. But for me, it really don't matter. But for me, for me, for me. Uh, but for me, it really, what's that, what did I just say? It wasn't even a word.